Hello everyone, so if you haven't already guessed today we are going to be playing with the new Spooked palette from Gourmand Girls and Doodles by The Bunny. Um, so if you're interested in seeing me swatch this palette, create my first look, then please stick around and keep watching. Please hit the like button, please subscribe and please turn that notification bell on because I'm uploading so much content through the month of October. <laughs> playing with this palette oh my god this is so pretty that packaging is absolutely stunning um so if you don't know Gourmet girls are an indie based brand it's a lady called christina and she is over in america um and she created this palette and she collaborated with doodles by the bunny doodles by the bunny um she creates palettes the way that she would like them to look and yeah they've collaborated with her and come up with this amazing amazing palette and it's just i absolutely love it i will link both of their channels down below if you've never watched them before but absolutely love it so this is the outer packaging so halloweeny and here exact same packaging on the inside this my camera isn't doing it justice but it does it does shift and so it's just such it's just so beautiful i feel like halloween has really gone by storm this year it really has like it's just it's just beautiful and then this is the inside they have nailed this palette they've done so so well with this palette you have you can definitely create a neutral look if you want to this palette is literally for everyone um you can create a neutral look you can create a really colorful look you can just you know you can tone it down and have a look a mid-tone look you really really can and it has a mirror which is always a bonus these shades are amazing we have a black perfect we have a white amazing um i will be testing that white today because we do know that white you know can sometimes be hard to formulate so i would be i'm really interested to see how that works um so i'm going to go ahead now and swatch this palette for you so keep watching so for this video i'm wearing my evil queen t-shirt this is from asta um so i thought i'd try and get myself into that spooky season and i'm thinking I'm thinking I might do like a bit of a purple smoky eye. I'm thinking I might use this. So I'm not going to use the black, I don't think, today. Um, I'm just going to see how pigmented the indents in here, guys, are so cute. Uh, as of yet, I haven't swatched the palette. Um, you would have already seen the, pa uh, the, the swatches. But you have like pumpkins, the Gorman Girl sign, a bat, um, a spider web. Honestly, oh, it's so, so cute. It's just so, so perfect. Um, so yeah i really want to play around but i think just for today i'm just going to do a nice quick and easy smoky eye just to see how pigmented these colors actually are so we're going to go in i've primed my eyes with Louise, and we're going to go in with the shade cauldron which is this beautiful purple on the end and we're just going to pack that all on this has a pumpkin indentation in it and that is just I'm gonna tap it off because I don't know how pigmented it is, but yeah, should be pigmented. Wow, and this is literally going to be going all over the lid to create a nice smoky eye. Wow. In that seem to be in here pretty deep as well. Mine will be messed up when I swatch it. Um, but for someone who you don't swatch it, I feel like these indents are in here rather deep. It's not like I'm messing them up first time that I'm going into the palette. Just gonna start bringing that up above the crease. I love a purple look and this is like a proper deep I mean if I went outside like this it just looks like I've been punched in the face um, but this is such a beautiful deep purple and once it's all smoked out it's gonna look 
impeccable. I really do not know which shimmer to go in with though. I literally, do I go in with that pink? Because I have pink on my top. And now I'm going to start to slowly blend out the edges up. I'm not going to bring in a different brush yet. Just going to blend out the edges and see. This is blending literally so effortlessly. Wow. This is my first time um, trying the brand. Make sure everything is packed on. Uh, have you tried Gourmand Girls before? I know Doodles by the Bunny has some palettes with um, other brands as well. is going on so effortlessly and it's blending out beautifully like I'm just not even I'm barely doing anything and it's literally it's just wow I'm really surprised um I am well I'm not because I have watched a couple of reviews so I knew this palette was you know it's going to be a good one but obviously every eye is different like and everybody uses um eyeshadows differently so you know some to some it might not work on their eye shapes to some have different you know dryness to their eyes so of course you know what works for one doesn't work for someone else but this is absolutely perfect so now on a refer 13 i am gonna take the shade Ghoul. Oh, that's perfect. Um, and that is just the matte white. And here we go because the dark fantasy I had didn't appreciate that white. And this is literally just going to go out across here just to make sure everything is blended effortlessly. I'm just going to swatch that. Oh, that's a good white. That is a really good white, guys. Obviously, I am just using it to blend. Um, the Dark Fantasy was a good one to blend, but for like an inner corner or anything like that, I wouldn't have recommended it. But I find that whites are sometimes they're hard to. I've, to be fair, I don't think I've ever come across an inner corner white that I really, really love. I'm not a matte inner corner girl anyway, but obviously it's always nice to test it because some other people are. I like to give the best of everything. And that has just taken, that has just blended that out so effortlessly. It's a really nice white to give a lovely contrast to the shade. I'm really, really, really impressed. And I've only used two shades. <laughs> oh god. God help my bank balance is all I'm gonna say. Would I say there's an inner corner highlight for me? But this palette isn't like your normal in a corner highlight. It's more like a out of your comfort zone in a corner highlight. So we can take something different. I'm happy to do that. So yeah, I'm just going to make sure all this is blended perfectly. But I'm having no problems so far. And then we'll come back and try some shim shim. So I've got that all blended out perfectly, that's how I want it and I am happy. So I'm going to do the lower lash line now and I'm going to go in with the shade Haunted which is this beautiful orange. And I'm going to see how pigmented this is. Very. <laughs> wow. 
So just because I want to use as much shades as I can. I dip my brush in once. That is spooky, that is Halloween -y. that is what we want. Wow, I'm really, really, I'm just, I'm really impressed with everything that we're using. Just going to blend those edges out a little bit. Really impressed. That is stunning, absolutely stunning. I have brought it down a bit far, but I haven't done my other makeup yet, so I will be able to touch out with a little bit of concealer where I've dragged it down a little bit too far, but just so you can see the colour, it is absolutely stunning. So for the sake of this video and I want to use as many shades as possible, I am going to just deepen up this outer corner um, with the black, um, which is called Spooky. Oh, I love it. I just, I'm just in love with these leaves. <laughs> and obviously this will show me. I'm just going to do a dot. It is quite a deep colour anyway, but because we're doing you know, smoky, I just want to... Get it as smoky as possible. I'm just wiggling that on the outer corner. Yeah, it's just created like a little bit more darkness to the outer. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm going to go in with my next glitter glue and I'm just going to place that on the front inner portion of my eye. Now I've got my primer down, I'm going to go in with a Refa 28 and I'm going to pick up the shade Treat first. That's just going to go just next to where I placed that black. It's got a spider's web in it. So, so see how it picks up on a brush. Um, and I'm going to spray it. I mean, just because it feels a, more of a, rather than a, it feels a little bit chunky. I mean, that's not a problem. And give it a place. I always spray them if I feel, you know, they feel like a little bit chunky. And I obviously want to get, you know, the full impact of this shade. When using a dark base, um, I obviously want the shimmer to stand out as much as possible on that base. And that has just gone on. Absolutely stunning. I could probably put that all over the eye and be happy with it, but you know, we're not going to. We're going to go into this beautiful, beautiful pink shade here. This is bloody. Oh, wow. <gasps> so excited. Okay, well, this is going to go on the whole front portion of my eye. I'm just going to spray that again. I did flip my brush over. And then we're going to pack this on that front portion. So no problems picking these shadows up with a brush. Saying absolutely I'm loving this little white lace. I'm just gonna blend that into that purple shade. Got any purple left in the other side, I'm just gonna blend those in together. That is absolutely I'm really really happy. I'm so happy. I really was up in an arm in on this palette obviously money is tight for a lot of people at the minute and shipping and stuff from america it's hard for anybody but i'm so so glad that i got it i i actually really really am like so glad so i'm gonna go back in with my ref 13 no extra product um, no sorry my ref 14 and just make sure that's all seamlessly 
disappointed and I'm really really happy I'm gonna do my inner corner with you guys but then obviously I will go off of camera and do everything else and then we'll come back so I was gonna use the green but I actually am not I'm not going to I'm gonna pick up the shade pumpkin which has got like a dual chrome it's got a pink gold green it's got everything it's absolutely stunning um Gonna spray that and chuck it on the inner corner and see if this works. Yeah, <laughs> it's also got like I said because I've put orange underneath. It wow, it is. Oh my god. That shade. Oh my god, it's so nice. Absolutely in love. That shade is so beautiful. It's so reflective. I'm not sure what shade it's coming like on the camera, but it's so green here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Right, so I'm gonna go off the camera now, do my other eye, right, do um yeah, the rest of this because it's not pretty easy and we'll come back with the finished look but i'm really really excited see you in a minute oh so we are back with the finished look guys and here we are i am absolutely in love with how this turned out i it's brilliant i'm just going to show you oh by the way as i was about to film the um finished <laughs> the, fi <laughs> the finished look um a guest star made an appearance so here she is <laughs> i talk about her enough so are you gonna say hello so yeah we're gonna get into what i used on the rest of my face um so i use this in the in the waterline this is the chromosome eyeliner from she glam i don't know if it's supposed to be a dupe for the kaleido swan i haven't used the kaleido swan and um, this is in the shade vertigo it is actually really nice it looks black on here but it does when i turn pulp purple which <laughs> it's really nice it goes really nice with the eye look for lips, we use the shade the Cash Beauty in the shade Rust Nude. Uh, lipstick, I used Milani in the shade Tease. These are so nice. If you have any of these, recommend me some more shades, please, because I really love that one. And to top it off, I used Marvelous Max <laughs> on, um, on the lips. And yeah, that is everything. Let's talk about... The palette just hard to do you like that wow that's so pretty um are you gonna wear this when you're older no um so here she is beautiful not that one this one <laughs> although you are absolutely beautiful are you more beautiful than the palette yeah i think so are you gonna smile So the shades I used today, I'm so, so happy with you guys. I absolutely love this palette. So glad to have it in my collection. Um, I will do a three looks, one video, a three looks, one palette video with this. And, oh my God, you're so heavy. <laughs> um, and yeah, I am, I, I really am happy. The white, I really want to use the white as an inner corner just to test it out because it did blend out beautifully. Um the purple really packed a punch it was very very pigmented the shimmers were popping that inner corner is stunning are you dancing we're dancing um yeah i absolutely loved it really want to go in with like the black the red the orange and create something really halloweeny and yeah i will be back <laughs> she she's smiling now It's because she can see me in the mirror. No? No? <laughs> Please don't pull my hair. Oh, so I'm going to go, guys, and 
we are going to have some good fun. We're going to play and we're going to go out on a play date this afternoon. So we are very, very excited, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We are super excited. I know. I know. Are we going to say bye to everyone? Are we just going to keep staring at me? <laughs> I will see you all in the next one, guys. Uh, please come back. Please stick around. And if you stuck around to the end, thank you. Bye. Say bye. <laughs>